I want to bring in Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu of California, who is calling for Republican leader Kevin McCarthy to remove Matt Gates from the House Judiciary Committee immediately. Congressman, why is it so important to remove Matt Gates from the Judiciary Committee? Uh, thank you, Zelina, for your question. Like all Americans, Congressman Matt Gates is entitled to the presumption of innocence, but he is not entitled to sit on the House Judiciary Committee. That is an honor and a privilege. And this committee has jurisdiction over the Department of Justice, which is the very department that has opened a criminal investigation in which Matt Gates is a subject. That is a clear conflict of interest, and Leader Kevin McCarthy must remove Matt Gates from the committee immediately. Why are you asking for this to happen? Why isn't Kevin McCarthy speaking up and saying Matt Gates should step down from his committee assignments himself? I am on the House Judiciary Committee, and I believe this is a conflict of interest. I hope Republican leader Kevin McCarthy also sees that this is a conflict of interest. And, you know, for a party that in the past used to proclaim family values, this seems very antithetical to family values. Do you think he res should resign from Congress entirely, Matt Gates? So again, Representative Gates is entitled to presumption of interest of, of innocence. But I do want to say that these charges are extremely serious. If the allegations are true, and Representative Gates did in fact either pay for sex with a minor or entice a minor uh, for sex, under federal law, that is a mandatory minimum sentence of 10 years. And then there's already Florida state law that makes it illegal for anyone over 23 to have sex with a minor. And that is punishable by up to 15 years of imprisonment. Hypocrisy these days, I mean, particularly in this post-Trump era, I don't know that this version of the Republican Party cares that much if we say, hey, you're being hypocritical. You asked Katie Hill to resign. You asked Al Franken to resign um, without uh, proof of, of their guilt. It was preempted uh, that. Do you think that Republicans care about hypocrisy at this point? You know, Matt Gates is still in Congress, and I don't nearly hear anybody except Adam Kinzinger uh, saying that there's a problem here. I'm glad that Adam Kinzinger has spoken out. I hope more Republicans speak out. I believe every Republican member of Congress should be asked why they still support having Matt Gates on the House Judiciary Committee. And again, uh, this doesn't have to do with whether or not Matt Gates did these allegations. It has to do with that he's under a criminal investigation from the very department over which the House Judiciary Committee has oversight. It's simply a conflict of interest. The Republicans can put someone else on the committee temporarily. It's not like they're going to lose a slot. We're simply you can't, saying you can't have Matt Gates there. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.